All right, up next, we have another uh, recorded uh, uh, video um, from Ryan, who's working on, um, Ryan Chenke, who's working on course lift. Um, Ryan uh, was DevRel at Prisma for a while, and there was a, uh, he was announced he was leaving Prisma and was gonna be working on his own uh, startup. Uh, Ryan also works, at, uh, does his own consulting work. And there was a, a Twitter thread back and forth between us because he announced what his stack was going to be. Uh, Red was not even version one at that time. And um, I asked Ryan, why not Redwood JS? And that was about a year and a half, uh, maybe just a two years ago now. And I am excited to show you the result of that conversation, which was, uh, which became, uh, and I'm firing up here, course lift uh, running on Redwood JS. So here is Ryan Chanky. Ryan here, and I am the creator of Course Lift. Course Lift is a platform for course authors to host and sell their courses, to build their audience up, and to be able to distribute their teaching material more easily. And I wanted to show you Course Lift today. It's a platform that's built on Redwood JS. I've had a great time building on Redwood. It has been such an amazing tool to be able to develop quickly and consistently. And I want to show you what I've got today as we're in this beta state that we're in now. So this is Course Lift here, app courselift.com if you wanted to sign up and try the beta. And what I've got here is a dashboard that's showing the courses that I've got in place right now. So I've got all these students in place that have come into my courses. Uh, I've got a bunch of views. Those are coming in through two separate lead magnet courses that I've got. And I'll show those to you here. Lead magnets are free courses. Essentially, they are a way for you to be able to get attention to your material, stuff that you can offer for free to get email addresses in place so that later you can go and offer your paid courses to that audience. I've got two in place. I teach a lot about Prisma. So I've got this getting started with Prisma course and I've got this up and running with Prisma and planet scale course in place. If we click into the lead magnet here, we've got all sorts of information about it. I've got all the students that have been enrolled. I've got the content that goes into the lead magnet, all of the videos, all the lessons. And then I've got some settings and other things like that. The content for this lead magnet actually comes from the studio upload area. So in Course Lift, one of the differentiators is that we've got this central place where you can upload content, all the videos that you might have that you might want to use across multiple different courses so that you don't have to upload the same thing over and over. I've had to do that in other platforms and it was kind of annoying, so I decided to centralize everything into one studio area. Once the lead magnet or the course is configured, you can serve it out to students. So this is what a student will see. I've got it hosted at learn.howtoprism.com. We fully support custom domains and you can add your domain in. You just add an A record to your DNS and away you go with your custom domain. So here's that course I was talking about, the one with planet scale. And from the user's perspective, they'll be greeted with this screen since it's a lead magnet. They just type in their email address and they can get an email to then access the course. And so I'll go now and check my email and I'll be able to get over to the course. So let's click access the course. And here I am as a student into the lead magnet and I can start to view all of the videos here. So that is what I am primarily working on is course lift here. Out of this came an idea for another app also built with Redwood and that is PDF Gen. PDF Gen is a way for developers or whoever to be able to put in a PDF template in the form of content like this. In this case, it's JSX, or you can use Pug if you like. So you can use code essentially to create a PDF template that you would then send some data to. We got some preview data here that is going into this preview that you're seeing over on the right side. And what you can do then is once you're published with your template, you can just grab the, uh, the endpoint that this is is going to be available at and you can send data from your application to this PDF gen endpoint and get a PDF right back. So great if you're hosting with serverless, for example, because in many cases it's tough to deploy all of the bits and pieces you need to generate PDFs like Puppeteer, all of that when you're in a serverless environment, and this just makes everything way simpler. So I needed to be able to generate PDFs from Course Lift, and this was a very good way to do so, and I decided to make it available to other developers. So if you are interested, it's pdfgen.app. You can just sign up for free and try it out if you like. Redway has been great this whole time for developing both Course Lift and PDF Gen. I've loved it every step of the way. I use it as well in my agency. I've got a small agency where we build applications for companies, and in some cases, 
these are pretty large applications. I've got uh, I've got two very very large applications out there for some clients, and uh, Redwood has been great the entire way. Everything that Redwood provides, the generators, all of the consistency in the documentation, everything that goes into it just makes it so much simpler to work across teams. That's a big part of it, and to be able to do things quickly. So huge thanks to the Redwood team and everyone who's contributed to the project. It has made my life as a developer so much easier, and it's made my team very happy as well at my agency. So keep up the great work and thanks for watching my demo of course lift and PDF gen today. That is so great. Uh, Brian gave me an early demo. I have a couple of courses myself, so it is a fantastic product and I encourage you to check it out. We don't know.